this should be episode 4. I've been wrong before, but this time, I believe it's episode 4. Now we've just jumped into the warp, or into the gate, and headed back to the present era. Phew, we're back. Chrono, Luca, why don't you come home with me to the castle? I'd like to come over for dinner. Or, <laughs> I'd like you to come over for dinner. Sorry for putting you through all that, Marl. Are you joking? That's the most fun I've had in months, and I've made some new friends too. Well, Chrono, be a gentleman and take her home. Oh, dude, I don't know. She's the princess. I've got some work to do. See you soon, Luca. Will you ask her me home, Chrono? Okay, so basically, yeah, uh, in the last episode, we got through um, Guardia. No, not Guardia. The, we got through the, um, the cathedral, rescued Princess Nadia, who's act or Mar Maro, who is disguised. Oh, jeez. We rescued Princess Nadia, who's disguised as Maro, and got away back to our present time. And this here is a gate. I believe I can use it again, but um, I'll leave that for you to figure out yourselves because I don't want to accidentally transfer back and then transfer it. Have it transferred to the past and have it transferred back to the present. Yeah, I'd rather not. Okay, so now that we've gotten back to the present, there is, um, hopefully, actually, I should start with, um, hopefully there, you have been, um, fighting your battles and everything, because there is actually a weapon here that's actually very good. It is from Melkor here. Yeah, of course, we'll buy. Okay, so, it is the Load Sword. As you can see, it goes up by 7, which is freaking huge my god okay and yeah basically once you get as you get more and more weapons i believe everything here becomes obsolete so oop. um yeah by the way could you hawk that young lady to sell your pendant no i'm a good boy yeah so i believe everything does go obsolete i'm not certain never quote me on gen well generally never quote me on what i say because sometimes i'm wrong <laughs> so yeah nothing left to do here except um actually mm, let's see yeah i think the games are still on so yeah go crazy if you want but we're gonna follow the storyline and go straight to guardia castle Woo! here we go okay so um i believe there should be treasure on the right here all oh, these are monsters by the way so if you want to fight them go go crazy or something i don't know have fun with oh no i'm not fighting i don't want to fight okay so, oh, oh, son of a gun. Okay, so that was the lamest battle I've ever been in. It's, oh, no, come on. More battles? Come on, let's try and sneak through. <laughs> All right. All right, here we are. Princess Nadia. What, is the Chancellor in, the green, in a green outfit now? Are you all right? Where have you been? I heard you were abducted. We had soldiers searching for you. Uh-oh. Scoundrel! You're the one, huh? Kidnapping Princess Nadia. Better run, Chrono. No, Chronos. Admit it, you confused her and tried to take over the throne. Terrorist! Ooh, that's some strong words, especially in our time. Ugh. Just stop it. Oh boy. Ooh, Marl. She has a huge mouth. Crazy. Stop this at once! See, if I had that kind of a voice, I think I'd be a princess too. Well, a prince. Or a king. I prefer king. What are you doing? But Princess Nadia said to... Idiots! Detain him! Oh my god, he got tackled! Chrono! Hmm. Okay, guys, so... If you did exactly what I did, as for the last three episodes, then this should go swimmingly for you. If not, if you've been being bad, yeah. Let's just say you're screwed ish kind of so anyways the trial of carnal begins i'm the chancellor the prosecutor i'm the lawyer pierre members of the court we now bring forth the defendant chrono who is charged with abducting princess nadia wait the chancellor got him himself that's interesting what shall we do with him Fire, perhaps? Hang him upside down for a few years? Oh, these guys are brutal. Or shall we employ the guillotine? Ugh. Oh, man. Kind of wish the French didn't invent that. I hate to see Chrono beheaded. You, the jury, shall decide his fate. Now, let us begin. 
Chrono, you are hereby ordered to tell the truth. Chrono is charged with premeditated abduction of royalty. The question is, did he kidnap Princess Nadia? The answer? No, he did not. In fact, no abduction took place. The two met completely by accident. In fact, the princess asked Chrono if she could join him. Ooh, way to enunciate. Good man. Is this true? Who actually started this whole mess? Let's see. Uh... Screw it. I did. Just as I suspected, the defendant deliberately tried to get near the princess. Oh, yeah, that was my bad. Hey! <laughs> oh, good memories. The princess then innocently followed you to Luca's little sideshow, whereupon you both disappeared. If that wasn't criminal abduction, I don't know what is. Well, obviously you don't, moron. And I have facts that throw the defendant's character into question. We'll see about that. OBJECTION! This can't have any relevance whatsoever to this case. Care to respond, Chancellor? Chrono's character is at the very core of this case. We have nothing to hide. Wow. Did she hear his motive? Was there any motive for this fine citizen to kidnap Princess Nadia? No, there was none. What about Ransom? Chrono, her fortune did not tempt you, did it not? No. Are you sure you really weren't tempted? Not at all. That's enough. I have no more questions. In your face! It is evident that my client is a fine, young, uh, noble young man. Your honor, the defense rests. You got served, Chancellor. Members of the jury, if he is guilty, stand to the left. If innocent, stand to the right. As you can see, we rock. Not guilty. Yeah, Chancellor, in your face, you got nothing. Guilty. Oh, what? There was no proof for that. Not guilty. Good, good, good. Alright, things are looking good for me. Things are looking good. Not guilty. Yeah, three to one. What's up now? Not guilty. Oh, guys, guys. I have a good feeling in my stomach. Well, no butterflies anymore. That's what all I have to say. Not guilty. Yeah! Look at that. Five on the not, not guilty side. Not guilty. Oh, okay. Yes! So basically, I won, and the Chancellor has to go to jail now, which I'd actually be happy to see. <laughs> Order in the court! A verdict has been reached. Kind of looks like a squid with his hut. I think that's a mustache. Yeah, he's a squid. He's a squid. I'm going to call him a squid. The squid judge. The verdict is not guilty, but the fact remains that even if he did not kidnap her, he ran off with her. Three days solitary confinement as a punishment. What? What? This is horrible. What kind of travesty is this? Take him away. This is lame. This is a horrible court proceeding. Now just a darn minute, princess? Oh look, the king. That's enough, my- wait a minute. If you look at King Guardia, the 33rd, he looks exactly like King Guardia, the tw uh, 29th. That's weird. Oh well, but father... All I asked was for you to behave like a princess. Oh, you got smacked down. Yikes. Oh, even royalty must obey rules. Leave the rest up to the Chancellor and forget about the events in town. We're leaving. I get the king has never heard of feminism. Well, not the feminism we have now, but the feminism. That's actually feminism. Chrono! I uh, wonder why they stopped at that, um. I think it's stained glass. Yeah, the stained glass, yeah. I wonder why they stopped there. Oh, so, okay, I guess we're stuck here watching as Chrono is transported to his cell to await three days of solitary confinement for no real damn, damn good reason. Ah, oh, unfortunate. Poor guy. This terrorist has- Oh, he's still calling me terrorist! What an ass! I hope we get to um, destroy the Chancellor or something. This terrorist has tried to overthrow our kingdom. Wow. He has been found guilty and you must now carry out his sentence. Good lord. So this is the monster who kidnaps the princess. You guys really don't know anything, do you? The execution is three- What the hell? Oh, that's horrible. Execution? Strange, but I don't seem to recall hearing anything about an execution. What? 
How dare you question me? The paperwork's probably just been held up in the system. Understood, sir. Gods. <sighs> this is this is idiotic. Take the prisoner away. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, no, he's a take him away. Not knock him out and take him away. Which he's guards. That's the part. <coughs> I meant the voice. Well, at least Chrono's okay. Let's see if I can move. Ah, yes, okay. Cough mug. Ooh, yeah, there we go. See? Who needs to heal when you got a mug of probably dirty water? Yuck. Okay. Time for me to save. And we're back. Okay. I, th I don't know what this is. Let's see. Some sympathizers brought that stuff for you, you lousy felon. I bet you it was Morrow. Sri likes him. Got one ether? Two days until execution. Wait. Do I really have to stay here for two days? Hmm. Pipe down. Let's see. Um. La 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 la. la. Uh, is there anything new that I have? No, 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 no. Okay. A new technique. Oh, what am I doing? Of course, I don't have a new technique. Let's do this. Okay. So basically, just annoy the hell of this guard here until he lets you free. Knock it off. Oh, I'll show him. Open it up. Oh, by the way, these guys are pretty stupid. I have to. I have to give them that. They're they're pretty dumb. Oh, Chrono. Take him out. That's what you get for misbehaving. Take him down, take him down, take him down. Oh, you got served. <laughs> Loser. Okay, so I'm just going to keep this fight here because, yeah, um, it's, it's going to go down pretty easily. See? <laughs> Not really much because of all the fighting I've been... Well, I, I didn't do any fighting before I got here, but yeah. Okay, so um, this one, it you see treasure chest, and as you can see, you can switch to switch here, but nothing really happens because it's pretty crappy. So let's start off by, oh, yeah, if you haven't already saved, save just in case, because there's a boss battle, like, literally pretty close. We'll skip those guys for now. Okay, just keep following this path, and you'll come, and there should be a room where you'll fight kind of a boss, a, I don't know, a mini boss-ish kind of guy. And then let's see a tre treasure. Oh, okay. Now basically you're gonna be you're gonna play as a hitman. His name is Chrono, and you have to sneak behind these guards because they're pretty stupid. And press your attack button. Boom! And you take them down like a like a blah, blah. what's that? Which hitman game is that? Blood Money. Yeah, just like in Blood Money, where hitman is at its finest. Okay, so here you get one ether, a mid tonic, which is essentially a um, improved form of tonic, and ether. I mean, they, now there should be a boss that comes around here somewhere. Yep, there it is. I'm gonna tell you this guy just now. Just pummel him. Oh yeah, so you're the escaped con. He meant convict, if you didn't know. Yep. So just hit him with everything you've got. Oh yeah. Um. Huh, sorry, I forgot to tell you. Techniques don't work on him. So basic attacks. And you get an ether from him, as you can see. They don't pay me enough for this. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, he's gone. How strange. Okay. Oh, shoot, I totally forgot. When I first uh, started this game, I was going to tell you guys something. Last episode, which was released yesterday. Oh, I'm so sorry about the audio quality. I have a microphone that I use, but I didn't, when I was recording on Audacity, I said to record from the wrong microphone. Which is microphone for my laptop, and oh god, we all know how how the quality of a laptop microphone sounds. And let's get down to these guys. Okay, these guys are very simple. Now just watch as I what the. Okay, so if you guys don't want to fight, run between them. But I'm gonna fight them because I need to show you guys how to kill them. They're pretty easy. Actually, they're incredible. Not pretty easy. They're incredibly easy. Now you have to wait for them to actually try to attack you, and just keep an eye on them. They'll start to move their shields like that, and when it's open, attack. Otherwise, if you don't do that, you'll hit for zero damage and. Let's face it, unless you want to look like a total noob, then yeah, keep doing that. Yeah, they're quite easy. Um, let's see. If you want if you were concerned about where, where how come I can't see their HP kind of thing, just think of it like this. Um if you need to first unequip Luca's sight scope. And then equip it onto Chrono. Oh, uh, you get a fight a ghost here. And then the H once you equip the sight scope onto Chrono, every enemy you fight because he's the main character you'll be able to see hp of all the enemies even if the other even if luca's never with you but it's not horrible 
I mean, these are weak enemies right now, so it'll go by pretty quickly. Most generally, most of you will probably probably already know to to um experience farm, but for those of you who don't, then yeah, then it probably won't go so swimmingly as it does for me and other experienced JRPGers. And plus, this is a retro type game, so yeah. These, these kind of games, you have, you really have to do XP farming. It's a little bit annoying, but yeah. Okay. So, yeah. One hit, and then another one hit. Why am I recording the. Okay, yeah, so sorry about the recordings. <laughs> I totally forgot. I'm, I'm actually skipping all these. Okay, so I'll start skipping them now. Okay, so actually the backdrop looks pretty nice. Hmm. Okay, so there's another. Oh, oh, oh shoot, that's right. Okay. So just be aware that if you want to sneak up on these guys... Ah, darn it. Yeah, if you want to sneak up on those guys, um, stay in the dark. Oh, good God, what am I do? I am... Look, I am a total noob right now. Yeah, like... Oh, man, I, I'm a freaking silent assassin. Like, in Hitman, I'm a freaking silent assassin. I can't believe a retro game is, like, making me look like a fool. Jeez. Oh, okay, chest here. Um, yeah, it looks like it's part of the background, so... I can see why you guys would be fooled. So there's a mint tonic in there. Switch right here. Go inside. I believe there's more treasure. Hmm. And you have to fight these guys. Burp. And burp. Okay, yeah. Um, easy fights here everywhere. Base. Yeah, easy fights everywhere. And this guy up here. There's one guy up here who can be snuck up on. But he's it's pretty... Jeez. Yeah, so I pretty much failed at being a solo assassin. Ugh, good days. I mean, not good days. Bad, bad days. Kind of sucks. Oh, well. I might actually start playing Blood uh, Blood Money again, and probably doing a like gameplay recordings of it. Okay, so if you want all the treasure, just go floor by floor, going through each room. It's not complicated, very simple. I think this one opens too. Yeah. And who's here? Is oh shit! Uh, oh wait, is there something in there? No? Okay, even even Chrono shaking said, no, uh, I'm not touching that. <laughs> okay, so now if you want, uh, I'm going to try to get past these guys again. I don't know if it was a cool glitch because that was freaking awesome. Okay. Bam! And I believe, yes, just left. Okay, you remember that first that um, first cell we couldn't get into um, on the left? Well, this is not here, but this is where you go in order to get into it. So just walk up the side, go straight down. Um, yep, just keep going, and I think on the left, yep, and your chest, shelter, and go again, down the hole, and here you are, oh, sorry, <clears throat> and here you are, two chests for you, okay, so you got 1500G from that, and a load sword, which, oh my god, really? Oh, what a fool I was, jeez, oh well, so yeah, um, <laughs> if you haven't bought a load sword, consider yourselves 4000 G richer. Okay, so you've climbed up the same thing. Here it is. And oops. And for lack of and for better no speed or something like that, I'm just gonna speed through this. And here we are back at the top in a fashionable, in super speed fashion. So we'll skip those guys because um, well, don't really want to fight them. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, that's right. And take down these two cards, which are easy peasy. I mean squeezy. Okay, so um, I'm just going to make mention that, um, uh, uh, okay, maybe after this, help, I'm a chicken, I mean, he's a, he's a supervisor guard, like, oh, ah, I got beat up by a girl, excellent, that's what I like to see, fem power, Chrono, I've come to save you, sorry, Chrono, you are now the damsel, gee, it looks like you didn't need my help after all, let's blow this joint, isn't it pop stand, hmm, Okay, so uh, as I was going to say, before I was so rudely interrupted by a supervisor and saw the cool Luca kick some supervisor guard's butt. Um, the time of my episodes may vary probably in between 20 to 40 minutes. The reason being is because I'm going to try and do dungeons, one dungeon at a time or one quest, quest line at a time. I don't know if that's quest line is the right thing to say, but yeah, I'm going to try to do it one at a time. Um, but if it's way too long, like maybe 50 minutes like an hour hour and a half because there's just a lot to it i will i will probably split it up so yeah another ground rule for you guys i mean i don't i really ooh, he's there carl's batting his eyebrows at me how you doing 
<laughs> just kidding. But yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing. Okay, so let's um, start with talking to this. A top secret document has been left behind the floor. Care to read it? Yeah. To the prison supervisor. Dragon tank owner's manual. Bam! Dragon tank. That is your first... That is your boss. The tank head repairs body damage. It contains a shield that prevents damage by lightning and fire. Oh no. Chrono's element is lightning and Luca's is fire. Unless the head can be defeated, the tank is unbeatable. Guardia R&D. R&D stands for research, research and development. That's it. And make sure you save, which is actually what I'm going to do now. All right, so there we go. Hopefully you save and aren't going to be a complete fool about this. And we just run across the bridge and come face to face with a dragon tank. I hear it. Come on, keep going. Stop. Don't slow down. What was that? There we go. Finally. Well, that is one big tank on one thin bridge. I wonder how they're doing it. Oh, this Chancellor's a freaking lunatic. I wonder if he's a demon too, like, um, Yakra. Yeah, okay. Um, forward, dragon tank. Crush those rebels. This guy seems a little too crazy. Hmm. Why would he be a Chancellor? He's like no advisory sense whatsoever. Okay, so start with, um, slash the crap out. No, that's, uh, yeah. Nah, um, basic attack the head and you're good to go. Once you take down the head, go all out on the rest of the body. It should go down pretty fast as soon as you blow the head to smithereens. And that's actually the only strategy I can give you, except otherwise, heal. Just just heal. Simple as that. Heal and blow up the head first, and then go off the body with everything you've got. So, um, that said, I'm going to uh, speed this up. And with bazam, we just destroyed a tank. Oh, like a chrono. Oh, badass. Oh, so I like. Oh my god, he went Super Saiyan! Except he had red hair. He's kind of, kind of messed that up, but it's okay. They got the dragon tank. Fix it quickly. Guys, you don't fix it by putting your hand behind your back. Oh god. Uh, okay. See ya. Oh yeah. Oh, I walk all over you. Don't fool yourselves into thinking you've gotten away with this. How? These guys are very strong. Look at that. They can. They can hold up two people at once. My god, even the Chancellor. Wow. Good man. Good, good, good. Been working out, I can tell. Oh, and chest here. Yeah, I completely forgot to mention, um, in episode one, if you go into Garden Castle, there are a few chests lying around. Not very useful things, except for this shelter here. But otherwise, meh, meh. It's meh stuff. Uh, hmm. I've never actually checked this place out yet. Oh god. They're escaping. Oh shit! Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, that obviously was not good. They're escaping. We have no choice but to break through. Catch me if you can. Holy crap! They're escaping. No, oh, son of a gun. Princess Nadia. No, no, no. I was, I was thinking Princess. I was thinking Queen Lean. Um, this is my friend. Show him your respect. No, oh, deja vu. But. <laughs> uh, I always think of that whenever someone says but. Can you take orders? Of course. Hold it right there. The Chancellor. Again. Do as King Guardia 33rd commands. Father. Silence, Princess Nadia. The throne comes before your personal wishes. Wow. What? Just because I have a title doesn't mean I'm not a person? You pick up strange ideas venturing outside. Oh, man. I didn't pick up anything. It's called common sense. See? This is what I like about Marl. She has so much damn sense. This king is a complete, um, rigid butthole. Ugh, something like that. Princess Nadia. I despise you. I'm leaving. Make your way in the world, girl. Princess Nadia. Come, Chrono. Hmm. Okay, chance is gonna go crazy. What about the king? Don't just stand there. After them. Princess Nadia. Oh, poor guy. He regrets it now for being such a d, d bag. There they are. Don't lose them. Okay, so, um, you're gonna be comp Well, actually, no, I don't even think I can control them yet. There's no escape. Silence. Okay, um, run all the way east. You're gonna come into um, a little clearing. With a surprise, surprise, 
a black chest here, right? Which can only be opened with a mysterious um, something. I don't know. But it's a dead end. Looks like a dead end. But there's a gate there. Come on, Luca. Use your powers. A gate. Very observant. Okay, so basically, this, yeah, this is the end of the journey for us in this episode. As soon as we pass through the gate. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. So, yeah, as soon as we pass through the gate, that's when the episode's going to be over. And I'll catch you guys in episode 5. So let's complete this. A gate. I just said that. Yeah, I did just say that. Hmm. Come on. But we don't know where it'll take us. Who cares? This place stinks anyways. Spoken like a true teenager. Princess Nadia. This is completely irrational. Sounds like a sounds like C-3PO. Hurry, Chrono. This is completely irrational. And here we go. Adios, old timers. And young timers. Oh, what a big mouth. They disappeared. Ah, what happened? <laughs>